Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Jimstar on RS, and today I have another guide for you. In this guide, I'm going to be showing you how to efficiently kill frost dragons. Now, if you can't use frost dragons, I'm very sorry, but I'd like to make an updated guide. This is not a money making guide, this is just a melee guide for frost dragons. And, you know, I feel like I kind of deserve to uh, show some people this because they're always asking me how I make my money. And they're always, you know, asking what I do, how I do it, and I tell them, Frost Dragons, you know, Frost Dragons is my main source of money. So, what I'm going to do is show you guys how I do it. So, without further ado, let's get into it. We're going to go into the bank, and we're going to take out what we're going to be wearing. Now, what we're going to be wearing is actually, obviously, a very big part to how we're going to actually be killing these. Now, Barrow's Gloves, that that's whatever. You don't have to have Barrow Gloves, that's fine. Dragon Boots, these can be swapped out for Steadfast Boots. That'd be a great option. Berserker Ring. Now, I, myself, used to wear a Ring of Life all the time. But now I realize that, you know what? I can be careful. Even if I die, I have time. I can make it back. There's no worries. So, Berserker Ring, for sure. Chaotic Rapier. Now, let me tell you, this is such a great weapon. Now, is it the best for Frost Dragons? People can argue, they could say that the CLS is better, which in some cases it may be, but I believe that the, uh, that the Rapier and or the Zamorakian Spear is the best weapon to use for Frost Dragons. Fire Cape, well, that's just obvious. If you have a Fire Cape, use it. Kiln Cape, use it. Uh, if you have a Skill Cape and you don't have any of these Fire Capes, use that. Also, the Soul Wars cape will do. That'd be fine. Or an Arty Cloak. Fury, that can be swapped out for a glory. Uh, Helm of Neat is not. This can be swapped out for, you know, a Bandos helmet, uh, a Varax helmet, Derox, Torags, any of those. It's fine. Bandos top and bottom. Now, this can be swapped out for a few things. This could be swapped out for Torva, if you have enough money. It could be swapped out for Rune. Now, if you want to do a prayer method, you could swap it out for Proselyte or Initiate. And the Dragon Defender really complements the Rapier, and it really gives some nice stats, if I could show you. The attack bonus, you know, stab 25, 24, 23, uh, gives you some defense as well, but the plus 6 strength is huge, so that's definitely great. Now, for what we're actually going to be having in the inventory itself is also huge. I like to have it, you know, kind of in a good sequence in my bank. You know, I like to take out my house teleports, my cannonballs, and then what I like to do is I take out one of each of these potions, and then you want to hit one, two, three, four. And they bring out four prayer potions. That's how many I bring. It's totally up to you. Whatever you feel comfortable with bringing, that's you. Then what I like to do is I take out my cannon, and then one of each of these charms, a tortoise, and sharks. Now once we're actually in here, I normally bring my charms down here, and my cannon down here, have this set up all nice, and then bam, we're ready to go. So now what we like to do, teleport to your house. Now make sure your house is in Remington. If it's in Remington, perfect. If it's not, you kind of want to get that switch because having your house in Remington is huge. Now I like to set it to outside of the house, so once I'm here, I'll just run over, what is this, southeast, we're going to run southeast, and you'll notice there's two key things up here, I keep on saying key, there's two key things up here that you want to look out for. Now first off, you want to see, hey, is my summoning all the way up to where it can be? If it's not, summon here, alright, and then once you're running back, and you don't want to take out the time to run to your house uh, you don't have to just come inside here pray at the altar and then you'll be full prayer points I was already full at the time so that's fine and then we'll go ahead and run up here now compared to this method compared to other methods that you may have seen before you know uh, whether it be another melee method whether it be ranging method I find my method very effective. Um, as you can see, I'm only going to be killing a few frost dragons. You know, I'm not going to show you a full trip because uh, this is just a guide on how you know how I set up 
my inventory, what I'm wearing, uh, and how you kill them, basically. It's it's not for money making guide purposes. I I have an old it's not old, but I have an older Frost Dragon money making guide, but I'm planning on updating it. Um, if it's all right with you guys, I'd like to ask you um, for one of the upcoming money making guides. If I update my Frost Dragon guide and keep the old one on my channel, or if I should delete it. The only problem I have with deleting it is that it kind of breaks the sequence of the money making guides. Um, I've, I had to delete another money making guide from way back because it had a copyright on it, so I had to get that off. But if it's alright with you guys, if I update my money making guide for Frost Dragons, and then either, uh, hopefully, if it's okay, if I leave the old one on there, and I'll just put, you know, this guide has been updated in the description so you guys know. Uh, that's fine with you guys, thank you very much for understanding. But once we're here, rest up, get all your run energy. You want to come over here to select quick prayers. Now, I always have piety and mage protect. I find range protect not to be needed because they don't. it doesn't really hit that much. But before you go in, you want to drink up on your potions. And drink, you drink. And then you're going to be set to go in. So we're going to swing up the imaginary vine from the ground that goes into the air. And, of course, there's people here. So I'm going to hop until I find a world. Alright, guys, this is actually... When I logged out, this is the first world that I picked, and it seems to be alright. This is not a perfect world. A perfect scenario would be, you know, one cannon here, and then me placing my cannon here, or on the other side. You should really only have two cannons. Um, if it's more than that, then it kind of gets out of hand, and you guys aren't going to be wanting that. But what I like to do is sometimes go to a German or French world, um, or, you know, just hop around. You will find a perfect area. So as you saw, that died so fast, it was kind of unbelievable. Um, the best way to kill these is if you can try to lure them out a little bit so the cannon can hit them. If it can't, no worries. If you have this gear, you should be hitting fine, and these will be giving you no problems at all. Um, as far as the experience is concerned, I haven't really tested it or gotten a complete you know, range of how much XP you're going to be getting. But you do get a fair amount of range XP and melee XP because it goes into whatever your training, uh, whatever your style is, and then, you know, whatever uh, gives you HP as well then. Not whatever, I don't know why I said that. But now occasionally you're going to run into people like this guy. There was already a guy down here and he felt the need to put a cannon down. And then this guy felt the need to put a cannon down because he's got one eye on his head and an Elijah shield. But I guess he thinks he's a cool guy. But this is the standard you know, method or how would I want to say this, what you're going to be doing basically. So yeah, I'll be right back. The last part of this guide is just, you know, the drops you want to be picking up. Um, it's not really needed for you guys to know for this guide, but just for the sake of you guys knowing. Uh, pick up Frost Dragon Bones, obviously. Water Talismans, Charms if you want them, Draconic Visage, Rune Long Sword, Water Orbs if you'd like. And adamant plate bodies, obviously, if you'd like as well. It's totally up to you. I started to pick up charms. I've always picked up frost dragon bones, and I'm starting to pick up the water talismans as well. Uh, obviously, any dragon stones or tooth halves or uh, the other part of the key is totally up to you to pick up. But I recommend picking those up if it's if it's a little under how much a frost dragon bone would be, or if it's higher, pick it up. So other than that, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this guide, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, stay saucy, what can I say? Remember, as always, sauce at the boss. Peace!